We have strong news on this front. Phase three trial, your antibody cocktail reducing hospitalization or death by 70%. How much is this actually going to jumpstart real use case out there, George? Yeah, we think this is really big news because, as you were just saying, despite all of our hopes and dreams that vaccination will get the pandemic under control, we can't forget about the people who are still getting infected every day and at risk of progressing to severe disease and hospitalization and death. In the United States alone, that's one to two million people a month getting infected today with tens of thousands dying. And as you said, it's even worse in other countries and in Europe. And the vaccine is too late for these people. Vaccines can prevent, they can treat people who are already infected and sick. These people need a treatment. And I'm not even talking about the danger of variants, which maybe we can get back to. But that's why our news is so big and so important. We have now shown in the largest phase three study of its kind that our Regen Cove antibody cocktail can provide just such a necessary treatment for those already infected and sick reducing their risk of progression to yeah. more serious disease and hospitalization and death by over 70 percent. That's stunning. That's important. That's game changing. Moreover, also shortening their duration of symptoms and also at a lower dose that can actually allow us to supply almost all the high risk patients who need it in the United States. This is really big. This can make a real difference, especially because, as you said, it's not only in Europe. There's places like New York City where things are not dropping. Why? In yeah. part because of these emerging variants, okay? The Let's variants... Talk. Let's ahead. talk about those variants and about the efficacy at the moment of the Regeneron uh, means of treating it. Is it going to be as effective on all these multitude of variants, do you think, George? Yeah. Once again, really big news. So the variants, the scary thing about these variants is that uh, vaccine protection maybe less against these variants. That puts us all at risk. Uh, and the real concern was some of the other antibody therapies are losing almost all of their activity against these variants. The FDA just updated its fact sheets on all the authorized antibody treatments saying that ours is the only one that is not affected by these most dangerous emerging variants, including the one that's in New York City. This is really important. So a treatment for infected people that can reduce the risk of hospitalization and death by 70 percent, including against these variants. I think, for example, every patient in New York City who comes down with COVID who's high risk should get on this treatment. I mean, this is a call to action for physicians, for hospitals, for patients. There is now a very effective treatment, particularly in these places where there are these emerging variants. And in fact, if we treat these people, it should decrease the spread of these variants and prevent undermining of the vaccine by widespread uh, of these emerging variants. It could be a, a big, big problem. I want to talk about some of that distribution because I think you point out that the key here is that it reduces hospitalization. So if I get sick, how do I order it? How do I get it to my home so I can inject it myself? Well, frankly, people should try to get a plan ahead of time, okay? The, these are all available at hospitals. You have to check with your physicians. If you have problems, you can just go to Regeneron.com and see where these treatments are available near you. But you should have a plan in place, just like you have for any other emergency situation. You shouldn't wait to get affected. You should find out where you can go to get such a treatment and be ready for it. God forbid you or somebody in your family becomes infected and sick. The earlier yeah. you treat, the better. Give us your supply outlook, given the lower dose that is still effective. Very important, very key point. A few months ago, one of the reasons why enthusiasm waned about these antibody treatments was that a few months ago, we could only be providing a few, a, a tens of thousands of patients a month with treatment. We're now up to the point where we could be supplying about half a million patients a month. That's enough to keep up pretty much with the high-risk patients throughout the United States. This could have a huge impact on preventing hospitalizations, you know, and progression to more serious disease. So I really think that this is, it's a moral imperative now. People are still getting yeah. sick. People are dying. We have to figure out as a society, we have the drug. We've done our job. Our drug is available. We've given, we're giving it to the government. Now the governments, the states, the hospitals, the physicians, they have to figure out how to make sure that every patient, 
I think every high-risk infected patient should get it. Remember, this is free yeah. of charge. To, to, there's no charge for the drug uh, to the patients. Everybody who's sick should get this. It'll shorten their duration of being sick, decrease their risk of progression to more serious disease, hospitalization, and death, yeah. and also possibly cut down the spread of these emerging variants that could undermine the whole point of having a vaccine if they spread too far. George, but one minute left, but, and I know your chief scientific officer and president, so perhaps not thinking about the logistics, but I'm interested in what you're thinking of basically the politics that's getting involved, EU versus UK when it comes to vaccine import, export. How much is this something that worries you as you're looking to roll out and produce your treatment and how efficiently and effectively it gets into the global demand system? Well, remember, we have a great large partner in Roche. They are going to be supplying the EU uh, and the um, rest of the world. Uh, they're working uh, on that aspect of it. We're working on supplying the United States, and obviously we can help each other because it's a partnership. I really think that we're solving the supply issues now. Uh, there shouldn't be that much of a barrier. Uh, and I, I really do think it is now incumbent upon on doctors, physicians, hospitals, and states and government to make sure that no patient goes untreated. This can really make a difference. It can make a difference in people's lives, in the, the rates of hospitalizations, and it can also slow yeah. the spread of these concerning emerging variants.